On Thursday evening, shortly after it was revealed to the public that Donald Trump is being indicted by the Manhattan grand jury, a group, a tiny, very pathetic looking group of rednecks showed up outside of Mar-a-Lago to let the twice impeached former president know that they got his back no matter what. So take a look at the clip. Here is the, again, very tiny crowd showing their love and support for Donald Trump outside Mar-a-Lago. Now, what's interesting to me about that, again, very tiny crowd, I mean, hell, there, there may have been as many as two dozen people there with their Trump 2024 flags and their don't tread on me Gadsden flags as they show support for the guy who literally did nothing but tread on them for the four years that he was president of the United States. He conned you, treated you like rubes and basically effed up the economy to the point where you're all struggling to get by. But the bigger point about those rednecks, and yes, I feel no sorrow for calling them that, is that you're the kind of people that Trump wouldn't even allowed through the back door of Mar-a-Lago. Like, did you ever wonder why you have to go out into the public streets to do your protest and not actually show up at Mar-a-Lago to show your love? It's because you're not welcome there. It's because you're not wanted there. Trump views you as the gullible rubes that he can rile up to do his bidding and you're proving him right. You're playing the national anthem mixed in, uh, you know, with, with audio of Trump saying the pledge of allegiance. It sounded like in that clip. I mean, my God, do you folks ever look in the mirror as you're wearing your American flag apparel? Like not even ironically, do you realize what you've become? It's a cult because you have your, your specific clothing that you can wear your specific slogans your specific banner, the Trump flag, or even the Gadsden flag. You're a cult. How do you not see that? Well, I guess, you know, when you're in a cult, you don't want to see that it's a cult. So you only see what you want to see. If Trump is innocent, if he's genuinely innocent, he can go to court and prove that. I mean, in this particular instance, the burden of proof is on the state. They have to prove that he committed crimes. He doesn't have to prove that he didn't. So he has less of a battle than the prosecutors themselves. And if you don't like the justice system here in the United States, then, you know, hate to go back to this standard argument, but you ought to leave because this is the way things are supposed to work. You run afoul of the law, the justice system gets to handle it. If you're falsely accused, you get to prove that. And Trump's a wealthy white guy. So being falsely accused of something, isn't typically something that happens to people in his status or race. If he's truly innocent, he can fight it. He doesn't need the rednecks showing up and lowering the property value at Mar-a-Lago to give him his support. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.